Good day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Model Gaming, and welcome back to Far Cry 6. Last time, well, we went around, explored the island, we got basically all of the island explored, at least, you know, 99% of it, but it's all done. We went and got a fishing rod, we went fishing, Guapo here, got some meals, it's all good. Yeesh. Heading a crocodile is not as fun as what you might think it is. Guapo is a good boy though. So today we are focusing on missions. Namely, we need to go break into this uh, giant ass blockade up here. And I believe we're only two missions off finishing this first island and going to the absolute colossal nightmare that is the rest of the main map. So we need to go back to Clara's base in order to kick this off. So. I don't have anything else to do. Let's go do the main missions. You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Heffa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara, free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing, unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castile's warships! I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertà. Viva Libertà. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Papa! Libertad rises. Time to take out this frickin' this blockade, which I've only been to once, but it seems bad enough we need to take it out. Danny, you copy? You get that chopper up and running? See, si, but there's an anti-aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Keep up, old man. Already took it out. Careful, Danny. You are starting to sound like a real fucking guerrilla. What are you talking about, Juan? I am a guerrilla. You're okay. Oh, shit. Sorry, horse. Biscuit. Uh, horse, biscuit, whatever we're naming it now. I think we named a biscuit last part, but this isn't the same biscuit as the biscuit that I rode last part, so... You know, confusing times are ahead, and... Yeah, we have to reach that lighthouse. I had a feeling that it'd be where we'd break into the uh, blockade. Maybe we have to jump onto the ships? by parachute or something? This makes me really happy I just went and explored this whole area. You know what, horses are nice and all, but I need real speed. Nice word. I need a ride. Let's, let's call out the ride. My beautiful, beautiful ride, which I use to flip cars because that that's just never coming off unless this something more easy. spectacular comes Don't along. This one, okay? Thanks. Get out of the way, you damn tractor. No one gives a crap about you. Let's go to the lighthouse. We get onto the blockade. We blow those ships sky high and we get off this bloody island. I'm itching to see more of the world. 
And that guy needs to go to a hospital. Danny, I wanted to tell you something. Hell of a speech you gave. Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I want to thank you. For everything you've done for Libertad. And for me. Thank me once we blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. <laughs> Okay, I need to also stop murdering civilians. Um, because that's like three of them. I need to be more careful who I hit with this. This car drives like a dream though. Oh, flipping hell. You know, if the idiot driving it doesn't launch it off the side of a cliff. How about we get out before I actually do flip this thing into the water? I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse, sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. Juan? Buckle up, guerrillas! Air Juan is in the skies and my bullets are hungry! Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. See you on the other side. Okay, before we head up to that lighthouse, let's make sure our gear is properly done. Namely, I want to change... Uh, is it something within the... Yeah, it's something within the backpack. I feel like I should probably take out... You know what, let's take out the Molotovs. I'm thinking of actually putting in throwing knives. Just so I can have a silenced ranged weapon, because the only weapon I have that's silenced at the moment is the M16, and that's not that great. I mean, against people with armor, yes, but uh, yeah, might get something a little bit more usable. So that's that. Now, if I go into here, I might be able to... What's the grip that makes throwing not... Yeah, here we go. Uh, move speed is nice, but let's put this one on for throwing knife damage, because I feel like we could be using it. I mean, if I'm getting onto this ship, like, you know, stealthy. Something gives me the feeling that we're not getting onto this ship stealthy. But I could be wrong. If I would have known I was coming back up here, I would have left everything up here to, you know, loot later. But stuff it. There's the lovely blockade. That we've got to go and destroy. So this is going to be fun. Refill all my ammo and my gadgets. Damn, Julio. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here... I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Okay, so we got an alarm I'm system. Oh, that's a rocket here. Advanced military, military unit able to disrupt an incoming enemy vehicles with... Uh, I think that was proxy mines that it said. Hang on a second. Can I get around the side and have a look at that? Yeah, proxy mines and explosive equipment. That's an alarm system. That's a vanguard, basic guy, alarm. Okay, there's a few alarms we need to deal with, like, right fast. Okay, so I'm probably going to try and aim to get there. Well, Julio, it's been nice being you, bud. Wish me luck. Okay, I am not going to land where I wanted to land. Let's get onto these bloody ships. Let's just stay in stealth as far as possible. Before we go up, 
Okay, apparently I can't peek. Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a bunch. Hmm. Let's just remain undetected for now. We can use their weapons against them if we get the chance. I just hope I haven't missed anybody. Those alarm systems need to be need to be gone. This is Vasquez. All clear. Nothing to report. Oh, and the port. They just don't want us to know what's happening. Okay, let's just climb up the back here. Also, let's get the throwing knives out, ready to use them. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay, you didn't see a thing. I mean... Them some big guns. Them some really big guns. You know, for now, let's just, yeah, let's just be completely quiet. Let's drop him there so he's out of sight. Next up, we've got a charger. We've also got to deal with the alarm system. Nope, no one's there. Raul, come in. Raul, you copy? Oh. Someone's walking past. Nothing, nothing. That was nothing, sir. You saw nothing. Saw your girlfriend of the port bow. Oh wait, that's a whale. Are you? Try to call back up now. Okay, we're still good. We're still good on stealth. I need to deal with this dude in the way. What in the hell is this thing? Oh, gasoline. Use some of that. Uh, Shit. Oh, this is gonna be one hell of a tough shot. Nailed him! Guy up top doesn't seem to be seeing anything at the moment. Is he even looking at me? He is, but he's incredibly non-perceptive. How far can he see me if I go out? Okay, he must not be able to... Okay, he can't see down this far. Good. Good, good, good. Let's pick up that. What do I, who have I got left? I've got the Rocketeer up top. Which I may possibly go deal with. Go, 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 go. There we go. Into the water he goes so no one sees him. What the hell is that? It's a gun of some description. Okay. Anyone around the back here that I missed? I'm hoping there's not. That's secure. That's the security camera. Duck in. Disable the alarm. Everything is quiet. No one's detected me. There we go. I also have a Libertad crate to acquire. I'm going to assume it's in this top section up here.
Get rid of you. You have I'm the done. final alarm. Impressive, Danny. No one on that boat saw you coming. Can you do it again? Let's find out. Let's find out, old man. I can do stealth. Right, one down, one to go. Alright, who can I see from up here? Let's scout this out before I go over there so I have no surprises. Shit, a camera. Yeah, the cameras can be dealt with though. Hmm, there's a lot of uh there's a lot of turrets on this uh on this boat. Into the water we go. Let's see if we can just repeat what we just did. Do I want to start on this side or do I want to go up? Because that sniper needs to be dealt with sooner or later. Let's start off with this side, and I might be able to just instantly grapple up to the roof. Refill my ammo again. Okay, it looks like they're all up on the top deck. Ooh, let's not go that way. Shit, shit, shit. I'll dive into the water if I have to. Okay, let's just... Let's just avoid these guys for now. Yeesh. Oh, these guys are everywhere. He's gonna see me if I move. Those two are down there. I need to wait until Captain Dumbass up here frickin' moves away from his post. I don't want to shoot him because that's just gonna get me detected. Yeah, Captain Dumbass, go away. Okay, that gets me up here. I can go around here. Like some more gasoline. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anyone out back, but I would not be surprised if I've missed someone. Come on, disable the alarm faster, please. There we go. Should really stop restocking my gadgets when I've literally not fired a shot off yet, but you know it works. Okay, go, 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 go. Let's go deal with dumbass McGee up here. You're gonna turn, aren't you? I feel like if I go up near him, he's gonna turn. Yeah, I might wait until he turns, or I could snipe him. I don't want this dude hearing it, though. Okay, if this dude seriously doesn't turn around within the... Yep, there he goes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Makes me wish I did have a silenced pistol, but... The MS-16 I've got does pretty well. Jesus, I hate snipers. That's right, you go do there. Nothing to see. Into the body, into the sea your body goes, sir. Good friggin' riddance. Okay, same system as before. They have a guy in here. 
Which, if I can just get an angle on him with the throwing knife, I will snipe this man off. There we go. That's him dealt with. I like this. This is very well thought out. It's really good stealth. Pick up the throwing knife. Okay, now that I've dealt with them, now I have more leeway of dealing with these turds down below. I would use the guns, but let's see if we can do this properly stealth this time. I've got three morons to get rid of. Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, you didn't see a thing. How the hell am I going to deal with this? I need like one or two of them to come down. There's also a chest here too. Go. There we go. Where's that chest? Hello? Did I did I spy a chest here or did I not spy a chest here? Is there a chest here? No, maybe. I thought I spied a chest, but apparently I didn't. Okay, I feel like we need to start distracting some people, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's having pathfinding problems. His buddy won't let him down the stairs. Shit, she knows something. Just go over there. You just go over there. You saw nothing. There we go. That should just now help me break these other two up. That gets rid of you. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's that last one dealt with. There is a chest up here. I thought there was. Need to deal with this guy before he sees his dead friend, though. There we go. Are we done? <clears throat> Wait, we're not done? Wait, what? Who am I missing? No, we are done. Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. <laughs> Even though you clearly didn't not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are really to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. What the? Where are you, Clara? The hell was that? There's Clara. There she is. She came through. I need to get the hell out of this. That's very subtle, Clara. Do you want to literally just burn all of the stealth that I just did? Leave I leave it that, Danny. Show. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo are going to work shit jobs. 
Until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can't really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traidores! Criminales! Puta! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love. Not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. <laughs> Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. 
I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50-50. Nipinga, I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. Stronger FND units have been deployed throughout Yara. Well, I've crapped in someone's cornflakes. Okay, yeah, I've really crapped in someone's cornflakes. All right. So we made it to Libertad Island. We're finally out of the uh, Prologue Island and we're into, uh, I can only assume, Act 1? Or something? But yeesh, Julio having that done to him, that's, that hurts. That has really got to hurt. Wow, what a... This is seriously a piece of shit. Wow. Okay. Okay, maybe we should just abandon going to Miami and just, you know, just go take down Castillo, because uh, that thing is a death trap, is what that is. So, this island actually isn't... Yeah, this actual one isn't this bad. You know what? Before we go join, uh, before we go talk to Juan, let's just have a small little look-see around this island because, you know, who knows? There could be a chest, there could be other things in here. I haven't had the chance to really look around. Recon notes, because Louisa gets mad if we pretend we're, ne we're, if we don't pretend we're in the military. 9am, took a nap. 11.30am, heard gunfire, woke up from my nap. I'm sorry, a nap is like two and a half hours, really? You're sleeping, buddy. 12.30pm, uh, got hungry, but didn't have to leave to get lunch this time. 1.45, saw the Singao commander drive by, same as every day. 2.30, he folded this note into a paper airplane. By 5pm, he dreamed of spaghetti, don't know why, I hate Italian food. Please, Luisa, get off my back. We both know when that FND Gu Gusano drives by. Let's take our chance and kill this man. So, this island belongs fully to Libertad. Is there, like... Is there literally going to be anything on this island? Or is it just here for looks? Because I'm going to assume not. Oh, holy hell, those are some big jellyfish. Oh, that's a lot of jellyfish. Okay, no, 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 I don't trust this already. I don't even think I want to know what happens if I get stung by one of those, so I'm just going to ignore that. Those big bastards, and then there's little ones. Wait. Are these what I think they are? Oh crap, those are the type of fish that you don't want to get close to. Nope. This water sucks. Uh-uh. No, uh, nope, nope. Any type of tropical fish is usually deadly, especially one with spines all over it. Nope. Let's just pretend that I didn't even remotely see what was in the water there, because that just makes me nervous to even go there. I don't trust this bloody water for one goddamn second, especially with frickin' Guapo trying to swim next to me being all cool and all. Okay, that's actually a uh, really good point. While we're here, what's here? What type of fishes are here? God, I really need to get something for line speed or something, because this is ridiculous. Oh, this is a big boy. 
horse-eyed jack. Huh. huh. Interesting. Okay, so far there has been nothing since I came over to this section of the new island. There is a big school of fish there, and that is making me wonder. I'm sorry, I like fishing in video games. What do you want me to do? Are these fish that I can even catch? Or, or are these fish just for show? Because if they're just for show, it means I'm wasting my time. Oh no, something wants it. Oh yeah, something wants it, and it's big. Okay, whatever I've got does obviously not want to be caught. There we go, I've tied it out. God, it went out a long way. Come on. Whatever you are, I will catch you eventually. Or oh, whatever this is, it is big. I got a snook. Hmm. Whatever a snook is, I caught one. It looks delicious, so... I will literally just keep... I will literally just keep fishing everywhere I go, because I'm kind of... kind of curious to see what type of fish there are in this game. And so far I have been pleasantly surprised. Okay, we're coming up to the last section of the entirety of this island, and... You know, apart from collecting some new fishes... Th there's been nothing. Which is interesting, because I thought this would at least have some form of secret on this island, but... It doesn't look like it has, or if there is a secret, I'm clearly not seeing it. Because there is nothing, so... I feel like we should stop exploring for now and go see what Juan wants, because there's not really much else we can do. I kind of need to see where the missions are going in order to figure out where the hell I'm going next. Hell of an office, Juan. That is one hell of an office. Damn. Um, why does this man have a... No weapon is worth making unless it is too dangerous to make. Juan, is this a nuke? Is that what nukes look like? I don't know. Supremo, part one. It came to me in a fever dream. I don't even remember what country I was in, what war I was fighting. None of that shit mattered compared to the idea. Supremos. A bolt of lightning from the god of chaos and stupid ideas. I mean, they're stupid ideas, but they're very good ideas. In Afghanistan, I smoked a cigar made of pony shit. Left my voice a little hoarse. <laughs> uh, Juan does it again. You're so lucky I can't bring out my weapons in here because I would have just toasted your ass. Some call it a Hawaiian shirt. I prefer guerrilla torcido. Uh, I'm also pick up all the trash in his room before I sp before I speak to him at least. Uh, there is a some form of a weapon, There's some form of a crate. So Guapo, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Where, where, what is this crate? Here we go. If we make my way up here, grab those Danny, scraps. Back for more chaos, I see. I will get to you in a minute, Mister One. Ooh, what have we got? You never choose when you die. Ooh, we got a charm. To an old friend, you flipped this over good in Honduras. Lay like that in a man. Have this token of my affection. What? Why, wo why wouldn't it be a Far Cry game and frickin' Willis Huntley's name wouldn't be associated with it? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so Willis Huntley and, and Juan Cortez apparently don't get on together. Well, that's good, because Huntley's a bit of a stuck-up know-it-all anyway. I had some depleted uranium. rum. Ha! Ah, Want me to make you the best supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island. His anti-aircraft cannons. 
When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office, or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You're one of a kind, Mr. Cortez. You're one of a kind. I do actually have some more uranium, so... You'll be back. They always come back. Check what Juan has in the store. Okay, so... I can steal more depleted uranium from anti-aircraft sites. More weapons will be available as I rank up. Go to Juan's office or any of his arms deal. Yeah, I, the... The uranium that I picked up from the AA site on the first island gave me 50, so... Might be able to improve some gear. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to not even say half of these words, because I don't get what they mean, so... Admit an explosive ring that roasts enemies and press jump to thrust forward in mid-air. Ooh. Create chaos by launching poison gas onto the battlefield which can turn enemies against each other. Emit an EMP pulse to knock over enemies, disable security systems, and enable vehicle hijacking. Then... That's a... Shield weapon of some description? I'm not entirely certain what these weapons are. Oh, that's a nail gun though. I, I know that just by looking at it. That looks like another... Oh, that's a poison gas one. You know what? I am actually kind of curious about uh, this one. Uh, no, not this one. This one, the explosive ring. So I will get that. I have 200 uranium left. Um, projectile impales enemies. You know what? Sure. Let's go with that. And... Sure, let's go with this as well. There we go. That's all the uranium I can afford at the moment. Oh yes, a Defender Supremo. Cannot wait to put that one on. And I got two separate Resolver weapons. Okay, so this particular... Okay, this particular quest is like... It's like a side one that I can get more weapons from. So I can't do any more of that for now. Uh, Clara wants to see me, and yeah, I also need to get the Tridata relics. So, uh, if we just go over to here really fast, do a Supremo. Let's go over to the explosive ring. So, now I have a canister of highly flammable fuel. And I also need to put more stuff on, so... Oh, that is a sick bloody paint job. Yeah, no, no, that, that's going on immediately, because you have to admit, things do look cooler when you have paint decals on them. It really, really does. Uh, I will keep the throwing knives for now, because they were pretty bloody useful, and we'll put the perception grenade, or should we? Yeah, put the perception grenade back on, because I haven't had a chance to use that yet. And for the mods, I will put the the movement speed back on, or the movement noise. And this one I can't do until later, so... Yeah, that's the, that's the brand new backpack I've got. Sexy looking thing. And now... Uh, where do I go to put in a, 
I into a resolver weapon. Here we go. I mean, I would like to keep Tostador in, but I feel like I might take that out for the time being just to replace it with something else. So yeah, let's put on whatever in the hell this thing is. Oh, it's a crossbow. Oh, that wasn't overly that, uh, that obvious. Projectile travels at standard velocity. Can we change that? No, we cannot. Standard reload time. Can't do that. Impales enemies. Impaled enemies turn into bait for animal pr Jesus, that's disgusting. Can't do anything like that. However, I can give it a... Can give it a lovely paint job. I will happily do that. And then the shotgun, actually, can I put that on as the... I can't. Okay, so the shotgun can come off and I will put on uh, whatever the hell this thing is. It's a... is a pistol. And apparently it has a shield attached to it. Shield of steel standard melee damage. Shotgun fires standard shells. Okay, we can try a new bunch of stuff, I guess. It all works. With that all done, I reckon we'll probably go talk to Clara. So I don't think we've finished the first act yet. I feel like this should be the last mission for the first act, but who, who bloody knows at this point? Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Cause he was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Fili. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Danny needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Hefa. Yeah, yeah.
I'm not Tara's Vesqueria. You are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor. From the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? Do you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Okay, when I say I wanted a new objective, I didn't expect to be literally told pretty much the rest of everything. Right, so we have, like, so many missions to do. Holy hell. I want to call a water vehicle. What have we got? Got a bunch of weapon... Um, why is the buzzer back? That thing was a death trap in Far Cry 4. Please tell me it's not the same one. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. The buzzer was a flyable thing. This is water boats, me. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. Ooh, extra content is now available. Oh, yay. So this must be the point of... I mean, that's a pistol. That's also a sniper rifle. Where the hell am I getting this stuff from? The K9 foul. Oh. Oh yeah, this is all the... I think this is the pre-order content, isn't it? You get like a full set of like blood dragon gear and something. Yes, I've done so much stuff. So that must be officially Act 1 complete. Jesus, how much stuff did I unlock? Is that it? Uh, Jesus Christ, I've just gotten so much stuff all in one hit. Hi. You're a shop. Uh, trade all of my meat. Oh, durable seals. Yep, trade all of that. Uh, trade... Uh, do I really need recycled glass? Apparently I do. So, let's just trade all of that in. There we go. So... Oh, yeah, so I can purchase resolver weapons from either one or from his associates. So what else we got? Recurve bow. Sawn-off, scorpion. Nothing I really need to worry about right now. So, sidearms. I actually got a new sidearm. I mean, it is an auto pistol. I haven't really been using the Scorpion much. Fine. Ooh. This also has armor-piercing rounds and a suppress. That means I can swap out the MS-16. Yes. Equip that. So we'll go back out to the MS-16. We'll actually have a look at that unique rifle that we got here. Because we got this a couple of parts ago, but I haven't used it yet. It's got soft target rounds on it, so... Sure, let's go with that. That should be good there. Now, we also got, like, a giant... Jesus, that is a giant load of stuff to complete. 
So if I if I zoom out, okay, yeah, it's uh, it's zooming out to see the map. So Anton is going to be the last stage. Then we've got her, those two, a man called Jose. So we've got to start roughly about here with Philly. That's where she's telling me to go. I don't have to follow her her advice, but that's where she's telling me I have to go. Or where it would be good to start. Okay. So, yeah, let's check out that Blood Dragon gear. Tags nearby enemies after takedown kills. You know what? Let's just... J just for the hell of it. Let's just stick all of this on. And then there's the Sapper Boots. And... Last but not least, we have... The hand. I'd say that's pretty good. I've also turned off headpieces, so that's the reason you can't see the eye, so. You know what, we'll keep it on just for now. But that is just full-on blood dragon. I also now have the K9000. Stealth Amigo, your metal badass friend receives less bullet damage and gains immunity to poison and fire. So, his abilities are... Okay, tagging. Deal more damage. And... A self-destruct. You know what? I feel like me and this dog can get on. At least for now. Until I possibly get either Chorizo or someone else. I need supplies. You need to talk to me. Yeah, 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 I'll talk to you later. So, many, many things to do. So, she said I should start with Philly first. I don't really want to go start that mission right now, because I feel like I could do that next time. Plus, we've also got these to do, which... Yeah, I will probably try and do them at some point. I may have to wait... I may have to wait until I actually go around the map a bit before I actually go get those, because they're, like, literally all the way across the map. But, I feel like, you know, instead of just driving all the way up there, I feel like we should just go here. Let's just get this little, this little island completed off, and I would say that would be enough. At least for now. You got this. Yes, I do got this. I've got a new backpack. I've got new weapons. Oh, that already looks disgusting. All right. And we've got this. And we've also got this. What in the... Well, this is intriguing. Okay, I feel like I'm going to have fun with that weapon. Also, where's my new friend? Did I not... Did I not get a new friend? Did I not equip him? He's here, but he's apparently not here. Okay, I will get a basic boat. What, the mechanic shows up to, to uh, turn my car over to me, but he won't do the same with a boat, huh? Lazy bastard. They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Huh. So if I kill too many soldiers, probably in a region or something, then Castillo sends the... Castillo sends these special forces after me. Rack off. Clara, who am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. 
Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. He's your in. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, <sighs> nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. Okay, I am also trespassing in this area. Hola, dog. Oh, you're a medic. Military unit capable of reviving injured allies and providing support with healing gr healing grenades. Kind of cockamamie stuff is this? That man is not going to be doing. That man is not going to be doing any form of healing because he's going to get dumped down several sets of stairs. Oh, Jesus, that looked painful. Well, hi there, puppy. Oh, you look amazing. Pet the puppy. Ah, oh, look, he's adorable. You're no boomer, but you'll do. I mean, I might as well keep my weapon out because I'm in a restricted area anyway. It's not going to matter. Okay, so this pistol doesn't completely one-shot everyone. Oh, that's nasty. Why is this always happening to me? Uh-oh. I think they heard me. Well, time to have some fun. God, this gun is so good. Hi, hey. Thanks, Fido. Just launched himself on an RPG and just took him down so fast. Thank you. You are welcome. Wow, another man that gives me literally nothing. Okay, I feel like there's nothing, there's nothing here apart from soldiers, and as much as it is funny to launch soldiers in the air with a weapon, uh, where else have we got to go? I mean, there's not much left of this island. I am going to see what's up here, though. This whole island has just been restricted access everywhere, so... I'm probably not expecting to be there that much here. Get rid of you. Oh, this is Jose's... Okay, then. So this is an island that's basically just the boss of this region's island. Oh, that'd be why there's nothing here. That would make a lot of sense, yes. I mean, there is a weapon crate here, and I'm kind of now curious to see what it is. Because if this is the boss's region, then there's got to be something good. Okay, I may have peed off a lot of people. What have I got? What are you going to give me? Ooh, a new pistol. One that's called Blood Drunk. Uh, Blood Drunk. Improves weapon damage to enemies below you. Uh, chance of healing on dealing damage. It's an incendiary pistol. You know what? I'll put that... I might put that on, like, next part. General shopping list. Yeah, this is all stuff that I probably shouldn't be reading as yet, but it doesn't matter. Little Hijo de Puta Diego. Anton named the highway near Seguna after him. That highway was to have my name. That little flipping accident, he's ruining ruining everything. I'm going to sneak into his bedroom again while, he's while he is sleeping, but this time I will shit in his socks. I'm sorry, who shits in someone's socks while they're sleeping? Now, on top of everything else, I lost my favorite fong today. Gold... 
Gold Borano Lace is hard to find in Yara. I will have to go to Rio again to alleviate my stress. I will light a few outcasts on fire to watch them but Wow, this man is a right... is a right turd. This man is a real turd. Okay, now I have just pissed off everyone in Jose's area. Damn, K9000 is just literally going ham. I'm gonna be honest, I like the shield. The shield is an interesting touch. Oh, heal, 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 heal. There we go. My dog is also down. How many... How many people are, how many people are here? Okay, where, ow, where are you people? Where are ya? Where are they? One of them is getting the Supremo. Damn. Yeah, I'll be honest, I think I like that more than the rocket launcher. Get rid of you. Who's left? Huh? I'll claim Jose's villa for myself. This man sounds like a right turd. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. We should probably leave this island at this point, because I didn't realise that this was Jose's villa, but, uh, well, at least we know where his villa is now, I guess. There's also a mission over here. Hello, new mission? New thing? Hello? Holy crap, what the hell? The hell was that? Um... Just another day in Far Cry, ladies and gentlemen. That's th literally what this game is. Ah, uh, you're the one that had the intel. Ah, you're a double agent. You are not in combat. Stop lying. Mamalon, here. You got something for me? If anyone finds out I did this, I'm dead. This is where the supplies are. Keep it quiet. Gracias, gracias. Ah, FND caches. I'm so happy I'm gonna have to start doing that. I did actually see that up here was a International Waters relay. Oh, so this... Oh, International Waters. I mean, I guess if you do head left and go off the map, you are in International Waters, yes? I'll stop eating. I'll pray more. I'll do less life. Oh, wait. That international waters thing is a race. It's it's not actually a relay, you know, where people go into international waters. It's it's a race. That makes a lot more sense, you know. And we've also got a lovely, lovely. There we go. Also got a lovely crate. 
Just to top it all off. And we've got more writer vests. Okay. So I reckon this is where we can leave this off for today. We have gotten off the first island, went over to another island, proceeded to then go on to a third island and discovered Jose's villa. Because what a lovely man this is, I also missed a crate back there. So we could wind up going up to there and then going up and starting the main mission. So yeah, next time we'll we'll go up and start that main mission and do another bunch of exploring. Because the more we explore, the more powerful I get. And that's about it, really. It's time to finally cause some chaos. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.